Hey, Daphne here. Welcome to day 23 of Raising My Manifesting Vibration to Get What I Want. And if you're just joining me, please watch my intro video as well as days 1, 15, 18, and yesterday, if you want to watch yesterday's, so that you have an idea of what I'm talking about and you can kind of be up to speed. Those videos are the particular milestones in my journey, though you're more than welcome to watch every single video. It just might take you a while to catch up. So I feel like I need to cover a specific topic with each of my videos. Right now I'm in the flow. I've been doing this for a little over three weeks and I have a good consistency. I'm doing the same things every day and I'm implementing the new things that I'm learning so I feel that I need to share those particular new things as well as my daily manifestations because it's the little wins that really help keep you going and you have to recognize those in order for them to keep you going because if you don't recognize your little wins well then you think you have no wins at all. And today's topic is ego. And tomorrow's topic might be ego too. We'll see where I'm at in the book and what I'm working on. So ego, what is ego? Ego is anything that you think that makes you think you're better than something, that makes you think that you're not capable of doing something, or anything that is hindering you from being your true self, being truly great, because we're all designed to be great. So whether you're shy, you're timid, you're depressed, you're anxious, you're, you know, whatever it is that is not serving you, and I mean, even arrogance and cockiness, that those things don't serve you. Anything that's not serving you is ego. Anything that's preventing you from reaching the next level in your life, in your business, in your relationships, whether it be with somebody else or with yourself. Ego is just that. So most of us have ego in the forms of, oh, well, I tried that. That doesn't work for me. That's an ego because that's a self-limiting belief. And if, you, if you're presented with something that, or somebody and they tell you, hey, if you do A, B, C, and D, you're going to get this result. You want that result. So all you have to do is follow A, B, C, and D, right? Well, maybe you think that steps B and C aren't important. You're going to go from A to D, and then you wonder why you don't get the result, and then you blame the system. Or you blame the person who told you that, or whatever. But the fact is, is that you didn't do steps B and C like you were told to do. For whatever reason, maybe you, maybe you think, oh, well, I've tried this before and I have the shortcut, or whatever it may be, or those aren't necessary. That's all ego. And if it really was that simple, why would they give you steps B and C? And if your way worked before, then why are you seeking out help from somebody else? If your way worked before, you would already be where you wanted to be, right? You'd already be doing the things that you wanted to do, right? But you're not and you aren't. So I've, shit, I was the same. Like there are so many things that I thought, well, you know, that's a good guideline, but I'm going to put my own spin to that or I'm going to do it my way. Well, guess what? If my way had worked the entire time, I wouldn't be seeking out assistance from other people or assistance from different programs. I wouldn't be looking to, you know, into companies and products in order to make millions of dollars if I was already making millions of dollars. So why not follow the proven methods that they provide? And that's what I've been able to get over and push through and really just realize what my ego is and just put it aside because I don't care what anybody else thinks. I don't care if you think that my business venture is a full of baloney and it's never going to go anywhere. That's, that's fine. That's your belief and you're entitled to that, but that doesn't mean I have to believe that. That doesn't mean that your thoughts on what I'm doing need to have any sort of weight and it, I, you know, and make me listen to you because if you were doing something that was successful, I would be listening to you and telling you what to do, or, you know, telling, letting you tell me what to do. But, you know, and if you're that person who is doing what I want to, I want to do, then I'm already watching what you do and I'm implementing what you're doing. In this manual, it is telling me exactly what I need to do. And there are some steps that I haven't taken. And that is, has been my own hang up, my own ego, and I'm just over it. I'm, I'm just completely done. I'm 
starting tomorrow fresh and I'm also implementing the things that I've learned today in the moment as I'm going. I'm not waiting till tomorrow to implement those, which is a huge thing because you don't have to wait for a new day. You don't have to start fresh when you wake up. Every moment is a chance to start fresh. So you have to get that mentality out of your mind. That's your ego again. Anything, any way that you, any excuse you have, anything you use to justify anything, that is your ego. So quit making excuses, quit justifying, and do what you need to do to get where you need to be. Get where you want to be. And there may be some things that happen that you don't necessarily understand in the moment, but remember, take your ego out of it and just go with it. So much easier to go with the flow, and when we're flowing, things go our way more often than not, and eventually they'll all go our they'll all go our way. So that's what I have to say about ego today. My ego has been thrown out the window, you know, kicked in the ass on the way out the door, you know, and you know, anytime little doubting Darla, my little gremlin, tries to bring up any of that garbage. I'm, you know, nipping it at the bud. Done. I just ain't doing it. So, with that being said, I've got my list for tomorrow. I was supposed to begin a 21 day challenge today and I just wasn't prepared and that was my own fault. So I'm not making excuses. I wasn't prepared today because I didn't choose to be. So tomorrow I'm going, I'm choosing to be prepared and I do have some grocery shopping to do. And I'm just going to do it because along with here and here, I need to get here. Uh, <laughs> I really want to get my body where I want it to be. And I just have to take the steps to do what I need to do. That's on my list for tomorrow, um, as well as some other things. I had a wonderful mastermind with two of my business partners today, and we have some things that we're putting through in the works, so look for that, and you may actually be watching this video on one of our pages, and so I'm really excited that you are. If you'd like to get started with our business, go ahead and click on the link below, whether it be with me or one of my other business partners, Gary or Adrian. We're all wonderful, and we all work together and can help you get results. So that's it for me today. I'm feeling fantastic and ready to tackle everything that's thrown at me with a big smile on my face and a smile in my heart. So I will see you tomorrow on day 24 and I'd really love to hear what you're doing to better yourself. Or if you need help, reach out to me. Click on that link below or find me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash working for jugs or you can just search my name Daphne Dugan. I'm I'm all out there. You can't miss me. You know, blonde blonde and pink. It's all over the place. So find me because I'd like to help you too. So I will see you tomorrow on day 24. Good night.